There's a new pack coming to Odyssey called the Lawgiver Pack. It was added with the latest update. Data miners on the PC found it and many people shared shots with me. So let's take a look at this new armor pack, the mount and the weapon. And some people had some very interesting things happen to them during the recent Air of Memories mission. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a the like would be super appreciated and let's go. So yes, I'm still running a giveaway for the Swings Pack that Ubisoft recently released. You can follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. Well before you enter I will announce the winner in my next Odyssey video so that is very very soon but yes I said that when a new pack was leaked or revealed I would immediately start a new giveaway for that so let's take a look at this leak gear set first and then announce this giveaway it's again called the lawgiver and it's a warrior set it has the awesome hood with a face mask going over the beard from Alexios but it looks awesome on Cassandra as well. And thanks by the way to Kuan Nirod for sharing these shots. And you saw pictures of Lado Wilson who shared them on Twitter as well. And of course as always also a shout out to Badaboom for finding the vials on the PC. It has a wolf on the shoulder, this Lawgiver pack. And I think that overall the hood and the chest are the real standout here. The mount is pretty awesome by the way as well. Also having a sick armor. It has a wolf-like helmet and some fur here and there too. I think it looks pretty cool. The pack also has a heavy bladed axe as a weapon. That has wolves on the blade and some markings on there too. It's called the Lawmaker and has the crit damage and also the 100% elemental buildup with charged heavy attack ability legendary perk so that a charged heavy attack will make sure that the enemy will be burning or get poisoned faster as well but yeah overall this will be a charged heavy attack focus set so the sword of kings with the extra melee charging speed will be really really key you of course got this weapon for killing all the ancients in the legacy of the first blade season pass dlc and by the way the weapon also is glowing in the dark i used it while at the gateway to the lost city and they will really see that it shines in the dark looking really really cool and it's still like one of the best weapons of course in the game other legendary perks that will be really really good with this lawgiver set are the 20% damage with charged heavy attack ability legendary perk from the Tyvon's mace you of course get that from one of the mercenaries in the game and also the 25% crit chance with the charged heavy attack ability perk from the blackthorn helix spear that was at Sargon I think at least once so you might have it if you play this game for a while so those are some things that already come to mind to make this set really really powerful but I will of course go way more in depth on how to make this set as good as possible when the pack releases and I will share the two most likely release dates for this pack in a second first let's take a look at the set bonus it has the 20% crit chance with warrior abilities so that is really nice in combination with the extra crit chance for the charged heavy attack ability already and there's also some crit chance on the individual pieces of this gear set as well so I think this means that we will likely have as good as guaranteed crits with the charged heavy attack ability with this gear set if you of course combine it with the perks I already mentioned and the mod three levels one of the builds i showcased a while back was from alex that already showcased how good a charged heavy attack heavy blunt build can be and that was even before the sword of kings that now makes charging your heavy attack ability way faster so with a heavy bladed weapon it's of course also really really good to have this combination hitting multiple enemies around you with a sort of whirlwind attack. So I think it will be fun to toy around with this set for sure. Again we'll do a big video when it gets released and I think that will be on either April 16th so less than two weeks after the swings pack because otherwise it would be April 30th as Ubisoft never releases a pack on the same day as the season pass episode. We of course know that the Atlantis DLC will hit on April 23rd so that's why I don't think it will release on that day. I will of course keep you up to date here when we know more and stream the weekly reset as well when it goes live next week. I'm not doing that today because I'm on a trip right now. I'm also recording this video one day before Tuesday. I can't tell you where I'm going to yet but totally keep an eye out on the channel to learn more about that. And I will of course still do the weekly reset video talking about Sargon's shop, the new weekly bounty and way way more in a future video. But yeah right now I'm already starting the giveaway for this login pack so also a link to that giveaway is in the pinned comments be sure you are subscribed to the channel before you enter 
and good luck. So while the swings pack is like almost done, I will announce the winner again in the next video. This one will run until a little after the pack gets released. So yes, we already briefly touched on the Atlantis DLC. And we now, by the way, learned that the size of this DLC in terms of gigabytes is actually quite big. It's 8 gigs and it's on Steam, so I'm not sure how big it will be on consoles. But compared to the size of the other DLCs, there is a significant difference. And we also see that thanks to the Steam database that Ubisoft is planning another update soon, a smaller one potentially, because it says 9.1 and we just of course had title update 9. So not sure what this update will include, maybe some more Atlantis DLC assets or something that were not ready yet, I'm not really sure, but I will of course keep you up to date here. And yes, thanks to that previous update, the big one, the title update 9 or update 1.20, we already got to prepare for the first episodes by playing the Air of Memories mission. And if I got a dollar for every person that sent to me that they got early access to the DLC, then I would be rich right now. Now this was of course a free mission to hype us up for the Fate of Atlantis DLC. Did those people that sent that to me not watch my update 1.20 video with all the info? Either way, some interesting things happened to people while playing the DLC or they found some interesting things. You can only access audio files while controlling Layla, thanks to Costas who reached out to me about this. And I did not notice this at all, but there are locks where you even hear Otso Burke, who works for Abstergo and is now threatening Layla with the lives of her present colleagues if she doesn't transfer over the things she knows. Let me be direct. I know you and the assassins are searching for something of great importance. Transmit your findings or your present colleagues will become collateral. Damage. So maybe we'll see more of Atso in the Atlantis DLC or in Assassin's Creed Kingdom that should of course launch next year that was leaked recently, the Viking game. And we already talked about Atso in that video going over this leak because he has Viking ancestors. So maybe this will tie into that a little bit as well. We should still learn how the Abstergo pack got into the game as Ubisoft writer Susan teased on Twitter. Kostas has kind of a crazy theory saying that the Abstergo soldiers might hack into Layla's sessions into the Animus so that is how they got in. Either way, the Abstergo soldiers might play a role in this Atlantis DLC as well. I by the way left a link to a video in the description by Leo K that goes over all the audio logs that were in this Air of Memories mission, so you can check it out if you missed it. Also interesting is that I asked you in the comments of that 1.20 video when you could access this mission, because Bruno the live content director told me that it would be ideal if you finished the Atlantis main storyline in Odyssey, because the Air of Memories mission of course continued to where that storyline ended. But people in the comments noted that they could start the quest as soon as they started the Atlantis storyline. So that was after going to the gateway to the Lost City at least once. Maybe that will be the requirement for the DLC as well, but Ubisoft already noted that they will share more about this in the future. So gonna wait for an official announcement of course, but I thought it was already interesting to share the requirements for this free mission. Then something really weird that happened in Sultan's game, because after he beat the Air of Memories quest, he was teleported to a location where we got control over Demos, and he actually got to fight Demos. Like he spawned near Demos, who was just using a torch, and then Sultan stared him into the eyes. And then he did something pretty cool, he summoned Demos as a lieutenant himself, so he got a 1v1 Demos fight, with Zildan of course helping as well, so it was a pretty unfair fight, but of course really really weird, and now I can see why people thought that Ubisoft gave them early access to the Fate of Atlantis DLC, because weird stuff can really happen for sure. Remember by the way the time with Origins where Xbox One users got the Hidden Ones DLC one week before the rest? That was pretty nuts, so I can totally see where people are coming from, but it was not the case here, we gotta wait till April 23rd. I'll of course let you know when we got the first gameplay or more info in general about the April content coming to the game. Although I think most of it, apart from the Lawgiver pack, has already been released and of course the first episode of Atlantis. For now, let's go to Sargon to see if we can already get the freaking Hades Lieutenant, as I always do here at the end of these Odyssey videos. So subscribe if you haven't already for everything Odyssey, like the video to support the channel, check out the giveaways in the pinned comments, and now let's get to the Eagle Store. Yes, I'm talking to you from the past because I still got the old weekly selection. There should be a new one at the time uh, you watch this video. Again, I will have a video about that up really, really soon. Doesn't change the fact that I can still get the Hades Lieutenant though. Although, chances are likely very, very slim as we saw in the months before this. So let's see what we get. Played it, Vambracer's Assassin, Crit, 
damage while full health. Not bad. Not bad, actually. For an assassin playstyle. But yeah, not good enough, of course. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, does this count? Oh, he's not dead. It's really bad. This is really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him. We got him. Don't worry about it. Don't so yeah, keep an eye out on the channel and social media for the trip that I'm on. And for now, I will, of course, speak to you next time. Whoop, boom. Like the video to support the channel. And uh, goodbye.